All right, guys. So the good question here is, how do I retain uh, multiple different objects? Okay. Remember when we have this a equals to five, and then I change a equals to seven, and so you know that a is no more holding the value of five. And I have a equals to nine, and you know that after this line number eight, okay, a is not going to hold on to seven or five anymore because it already has nine and it has erased the value seven and five. In order for us to maintain all these three numbers, so what can we do? Array, correct? To the size of three, for example. Then we can have array of the size one, that is zero. We start array with zero, okay, with five. And then we're going to have a array one. I can have seven, okay. And I can have array two. And this is nine. And you know that if I use array, I retain all the three numbers if I want to. You can do the same thing with uh, creation of object. So what I can do here is I can have P and to the size of two. Okay. And then here I just put P one, sorry, P zero equals to a rectangle. But when it comes to P one, it is a new triangle, right? And P zero and P one. Okay, right? So there is an array there. Okay, so if I run this program, you can see the same area. The only difference that now what I can do is I can go back to P1 and I can select whichever number I want. If I want to, it to be zero, then it will redisplay this because it has retained the value of the object rectangle from array number zero. Okay. Um, you can do this in many different ways. You can also have, uh, like, for example, like a, like, like a selection, selection structure. Okay. To, to, to be in any way that I want. So for example, okay. Um, I have two, right? So let's use a for loop integer i okay so equals to zero and i less than two and then i plus plus I'm gonna open here okay i'm gonna delete this off delete this off i'm gonna leave it this two i'm gonna ask the user first see out Okay, uh, which one do you want? A rectangle or triangle? So if it is rectangle, I'll ask the user to gain one. If it's triangle, I'm going to ask the user to gain two. I'm going to add another value here, integer, and I put it as choice. So C in choice. Okay. And what I can do here is if, or you can use switch case if you want, choice equals to one, then I will have this guy here, P1I. Okay. New rectangle. If, sorry then if I have else I will have p1i equals to new triangle so I can decide in any of the array uh, array index that I want so if I have like maybe an array of 10 right so index 0 can be a tri 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 triangle Index 1 can be rectangle, index 2 can be rectangle, index 3 can be back to triangle, and so on. Okay, where you can actually access them using the pointer from the parent class. Okay, and you can choose uh, which kind of instantiation you want it to uh, carry, whether it is of type triangle or it is of type rectangle. 
Okay. And I can use the same loop then to display them. Okay. So what I can do here is I just use P1, which is the pointer. I, depending on the loop, calling for display. Right. I think I can delete this now. I think you can see the transition from how we go from this to this, right? Okay, so let's run and see if we have any errors here. Choice, no problem with that. Okay, just clean it up so you can see a bit better. Okay, run. So choice. If I have one for the first one, then it becomes a triangle. The second one is a triangle. Uh, my choice is two, then it becomes a triangle. There you go. Okay, I can do it in reverse if I want to. So how many, if the second two, I want it to be, uh, you know, uh, I want it to be triangle for the first array. And the second array, I still want it to be a triangle. So I get two triangles. Same addition for, I think, uh, oh, sorry. This one should be I, guys. I'm sorry, okay? See, sometimes I do make mistakes. So don't worry to make mistakes. It, always, it will always be good. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, so the first one is two. I want it to be a triangle. Second one, I still want it to be a triangle. And I have both triangles. Okay, so you can spice it up. Uh, you can spice this up. Like, for example, I can have them to key in C out. Uh, enter width and height. Right, for example. Okay. Uh, and then let's have uh, two, w, uh, I mean variable here, W and H, double, right? Okay, and then uh, I'm, I'm doing something simple here. So I'm just going to go with W and the next one, H, okay? Right, I'm going to see in both at the same time. And instead of 3.2 here, I'm going to put W and I'm going to put H, I'm going to put W, and I'm going to put H. And now I have more flexibility to my program. Okay. So, uh, triangle. The first one I want it to be a rectangle. Okay. And then enter width and height. So maybe it's 3.2 and then 6.5, right? Okay. Next, if I want it to be triangle or rectangle. So, next one I want it to be, I want it to be triangle. So, I press 2. And then 1.1, 1 .1, and then uh, 9.8, and there you go. I get the first value, and I get the second value. All right, guys. Okay. Actually, all this will be very helpful for your assignment. Okay, in terms of inheritance, and uh, just to just to show you another slide that I actually have a look at how inheritance are. Okay. But then on a deeper look, you can see how the transition of uh, polygon, rectangle, okay? And these are a bit more, a bit more examples to show you uh, the differences between the, I mean, a pointer and non-pointer transition to this, okay? Now having a virtual function and then transition to this. Uh, and there are so many uh, different examples that you can also try out, okay? I hope that is sufficient okay for all of you and uh, this is the last video for inheritance the next video we'll start talking about other chapters uh, most probably on file input output and also uh, standard template library okay guys i'll see you in all the next videos i hope that uh, this will keep your weekend occupied okay or your weekdays occupied okay so see you bye